Listen, I, I can't speak for these two, but I really, really like your content. I just have to ask, because um, it's been on I my mind. I can't speak for these two. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very polite way of going about it. I, this has been on my mind for a while, okay? Yeah. Where is the Meat Canyon? <gasps> I don't know. People say, people keep saying it's like pussy lips. That means like pussy lips, so maybe downstairs down north or you know down south whatever down maybe it refers to an asshole okay. i've get a lot of people saying all sorts of different definitions that i've never heard about the meat canyon can be an asshole yeah so it's not yours though is it is the meat canyon no. your asshole mm -mm. it's not no, i actually no i can't mm. whose asshole <laughs> can't is the meat is. canyon meat canyon oh, i think it's open for interpretation it, it oh be interesting anybody. phrasing like, yeah. <laughs> so so is the meat canyon like the gooch is it the it's the taint. Yeah, I would say it's. I would if I had to put it on a body part, I'd say it's the taint for sure. The yeah. rigid taint. It's the uncanny it's valley. Everything. You know, that's good. Yeah, we... like a forty-five-year-old taint, Ooh. dark and hubris, nice. just like a, a dark, dark well, valley. Well aged, <laughs> seasoned. Yeah. Usually, we have to ask people what part mm. of the sandwich they are when they come on, but I think you've actually answered it perfectly. Meet Kenyon. You're, you're the taint of the sandwich. And that's, mm. I think that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I like to think I have a pretzel bun. Ooh, actually, I really like that. That's better than taint. <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> eat that you know sandwich. What? Many things are. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. We've got Meat Canyon on today. Hey, check this one out, guys. Nice to meet you. Oh, dude, oh, I uh, good. I got that's something good. real great. I, wow. okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bounce out of that, Charlie, and I okay, think it's yeah, gonna be great. Yeah, let's circle oh, back man. around. Go ahead. Oh man, uh, me, me, Kenyon. I'd love to see your meat. Wait, uh, uh, dude. Um, hey yo. Mm, uh, hey yo. Jeez, man. Wow, that was very forward. <laughs> Hey man, I've it, I've in a lot in a lot of places people would say that's a, that's a bit of a red flag. I mean, how else am I supposed to respond when today on the Chuckle Sandwich podcast we've got the an, an Adonis of a man, uh, Meat Canyon, on the podcast? Look at him; he's beautiful. He's shining like a shining star, the brightest star in the sky. Um, oh, he's going super. Sit nova. down, Polaris, or whatever that <laughs> he's star heading towards is. the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Run! Can anyone yeah. stop him? <laughs> oh my god! They thought they thought it was the an asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. It was, We've got no, me coming out. Say goodbye to your loved ones. He's coming in. <laughs> he's coming. He's in. coming in. The last hours well. Charge. He's going to be landing superhero style, and he's going to do that little that uh, <laughs> head flip up and just look at the camera and just go, oh. oh. Welcome, welcome to the podcast, uh, Mr. Meat Canyon. Um, we're we're so excited to have you here. You know, you you've been on in one of my videos. We've seen your stuff online for for fucking months, 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 months years. At least I think I it's like been I've a, seen it all my life. Yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah, I think it's lived within our hearts our whole life. Sort of the content that yeah. you make online. But I mean, I see. I, uh, for those of you who don't know Meat Canyon, he is uh, he runs the uh, channel. Meat Canyon on <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> you listen. Right, the good. only I'm thing, the only thing you need to know about Meat Canyon is that he made that one where uh, Bugs Bunny slaps the the hunter's ass and like talks mm. about boy pussy. He really gets in mm. there too. Yeah, I mean. yeah. Wow. Oh, he does. Did he you does. draw that and when Bugs Bunny was <clears throat> just getting in that ass? Like, the, were yeah. Was you? My dad came up. My dad was the person though when I was like eight. He said "man pussy" for the first time though, and that was that stuck with me for. Your a long dad time. said "man mm -hmm. pussy." Yeah, we saw the wow. Texans. Uh, it was the first year the Texans were an NFL team, and this guy bent over, and you could see his balls, but it was perched up like that in the back. It kind of looked like a like a brain. And they didn't call it a goat back then. And my dad said, "Look at that man, pussy." How old? How old I were was, you? I was seven. That this explains a lot. <laughs> so it was one of those things where I just didn't really even know what that meant. It's the but origin it, 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 story it stuck with me. It is, yeah. So go Texans, right? Houston. That was the beginning of your your love for smashing two words together and just rolling with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's it. Compound words. I'm all about it. Let's get it. When did you when did you first think of the was it was Me Canyon the name as a username? Was that like sort of a 
uh, <clears throat> something that you thought of like when you were like a kid or something or like younger when you were just like that's funny roll with it and then it just kind of it just kind of ended up being the brand no nah, i just put it in a name generator oh really that's about it really a name generator just last that's about man. it yeah no shot, man. Things where everybody kept talking about name generators and stuff, and I was like, "Damn, I better check it out." And I think I don't even remember what I put. It. I think I just put it in like fat and large or something. Mm. Some on those lines, and I just said Meat Canyon. Wow. So I was like, "Whatever." Wow. My my now wife, then girlfriend, was like, "That's a terrible name." And I was like, "I'm just gonna roll with it." <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so like, whatever. I don't know. I'm fucking better out. than man pussy, right? I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah. That's why I wanted it at first. I'm like, I have this great story. My dad. <laughs> Well, that's how childish Gambino got his fucking name. That's how a lot of people did. Um, yeah, I I did not have luck with generated names. I think the one Xbox gave me because you know Cnanners. He got his from making a fucking Xbox account, and it just gave him Cnanners. And then he's just like, no it, shot. Yeah, was that, that really? That was yes. randomly yes. generated. <laughs> that was no the idea. randomly generated fucking username that's that funny. Xbox gave him. And I distinctly remember when I made my Xbox account, it gave me fun kibbles. That's a good one. <laughs> fun kibbles. Fun, fun kibbles. You know what that would mean? You would have to be. That would mean that, like, if you followed that timeline up until now, your avatar, like, what the character, it would be like a dog, and like all of your merch would be like a dog, like, dude, like, I can't just imagine consuming kibble, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cute. That'd be a nice cute one. I can't one. imagine That's looking weird. at your Fun face. Fun. Yeah, and just saying, what do you got to say, Kibbler? Like, somebody, <laughs> draw, somebody, somebody out there draw Schlatt as like an angry dog with with a uh, New York mm. New York Yankees mm. hat on, just consuming kibble and yeah, just complaining about Hillary Clinton. What's uh, what's munching? Uh, <laughs> that's my intro. <laughs> have you ever? You've munching. never. You've what's never that? had an intro. Why would you? If you were a dog, suddenly what's have an munch intro. What's, what's munching? munching? <laughs> what's munching? Kibblers. Sea nanners and uh, fucking kibble. I always felt like the Xbox ones I always got were like Archangel, or like they always made it seem like a gamer. Yeah. Username. Yeah. When you know. Yeah. know it's always like Archangel, like seven, five, and they always had the numbers after it. Mm. Yeah. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. I I never got the fun like little baby, little baby names. When the I see Nanners and the Kibbles and all that stuff. When yeah, I, was I was a like kid, Robot I, Mongoose. That's robot nothing. Mongoose. That's, That's a pretty nothing. good one. I don't know. When I was a kid, I like I I was always a you know I believed in my own ability to be creative. So my first um, email username that I ever made on Gmail was. I was a fan of tigers, so I decided it'd be a good idea. And this makes me kind of sound like a psychopath as a kid, but I, I if mm. my first Gmail username was Tiger Kill You One at Gmail dot com. <laughs> tiger <laughs> Tiger good. Kill You Tiger Kill You. So first of all, <laughs> caveman speak. Apparently, I hadn't fully grasped the English Ooh. language, even though I could make an email account. Um, and I decided that the coolest thing a tiger could do is kill you. Hmm. Yeah. So tiger, yeah, tiger kill you was taken. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. Makes sense. My first email know, address the, the, was uh, yeah. was Goblin Man. <laughs> <laughs> Me that was also my username on a, a myriad of online flash games. You should have stuck Goblin with that man. man. That is so much fucking better than flat <laughs> Goblin, Goblin Man. Good, Do you remember your first? <laughs> man. Do you remember your first email name? I combined my two dogs' names, Hey Caesar. My dad named our beagle Hey, like H E Y, and then uh, we had a dog named Caesar. So I just did Hey Caesar with like eleven, which I'm pretty sure was my baseball number when I was a kid or something like that. <laughs> wow, that's I was like Hey I like Caesar that. eleven. There it is. I remember that. That's that's funny because it sounds like in giving a dog the name Hey, it that's just, mm. is that was that just not an act of laziness? That whenever you wanted to get the dog's attention, all you gotta do is just yell, "Hey!" Well, that's that—that's exactly what it was. Because beagles, they run away a lot, so then my dad would yell, "Hey!" You know, "Hey!" Mm -hmm. Right. He thought that was he thought that, he thought that was a real knee slapper. You see, my dad. Right. right. My yeah, my dad thought that was a good time. Yeah. Gets confusing so with look, greetings, though. It is. It is. Someone comes over and they're like, "Hey, a, how's yeah. it going?" <laughs> yeah. Like, w w which one? You know. <laughs> Well, that's the yeah, that's that's the, that's the wonder that is the pr thought process behind my father's uh, name choice for my my dog. Right. Didn't Bud Light or like Bud do a Super Bowl commercial where they named the dog something like that, and every time they say it, it brings a beer. 
No? I okay. I, I got, I'll, I'll I'm go. sorry, man. That, that dredged up. Nothing. How dare no Super you, Bowl? How no dare Super you. Bowl watchers? Okay. Bring back Goblin Man. Yeah, bring back. Okay. I want yeah, Goblin right. Man. Yeah. I don't want Goblin Super Bowl man. commercial watcher schlatt. And what, you and right, the rest I'll, of the country? Give me a break, loser. I mean, your email is the, is the nicest and most normal by far, man. I yeah. cannot imagine at eight years old writing Goblin Man in a fucking email field. <laughs> I was the Goblin <laughs> Man. I don't, what do you want me to say? Dude. I wasn't sending emails to be like, who, would, who was I sending emails? <laughs> Dude, if they what, out when you guys might, made your emails I, as a I, I was, kid, I was dropping notes off in the cave for the goblins. I were wasn't you, sending emails. When you were fucking eleven years old, were you writing emails? Were you like no, it was fucking like, wheeling it was and dealing, like or was it just to, to like sign Club up Penguin. for shit? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you're not sending emails and putting fucking goblin man in the in the uh, from section. I always liked I always liked the idea of the emails though. When you register, and I'd always reply back, "Thank you." <laughs> oh yeah, the automatic thing. I'd like to awesome. click, and I'd be like, and I'd reply back, be like, "Thank you," and I'm like, "I'm such an adult now," <laughs> with my with with my little email conversation with this fucking robot. Thank you. Good. You know what? This Sincerely is really gonna make man. their day. Yeah. <laughs> Sincerely, Goblin Man. Hope your family headshot. is well. Your best, <laughs> Goblin Man. Where's the Goblin <laughs> category of the inbox? That's what I'm looking for. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, Goblin Man. Goblin Man was cladded up back in the day. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was like, I was like on the high score list of this old school flash game that they, that is no longer available anymore. It's called Zwak. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of this shit. No. If it rings a bell, no? no. It was like worms, but for snowball fights. It was like you had these little tiny characters that would jump around before the end of the game, before the end of the round. You pick, you know, where you want to send a snowball, and then at zero, everyone throws at the same time. It's basically worms. Oh. But with snow was, that, <laughs> was that one of the ones you could play during school? Like if you went to a computer lab, is that one oh, yeah. you would do there? Mm. Oh yeah. yeah, that's that's. I always feel like Robot Unicorn Attack and like this marshmallow <laughs> oh, like jumping block game. Those are the two when I was younger. Dude, mm. I had um, I was getting it. I was getting it going with powder when I booted that up in windowed mode. You guys ever do powder? powder? It's the one where powder game. You get all the different blocks and you can combine them. You know what I'm talking about? No, um, I don't. Never I heard of that. So. Sounds on. like some sort of math game. Not a fan. It's not a math. It's not a math. Yeah, you would game, play a okay? fucking math. No, game. I did. I tabbed out of learn to type to just to do this. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> uh, learn to type games though are sweet. Which ones? Okay, you are right. The, the ones where you type, you have to spell the word correctly to like fend off like I don't know missiles getting shot yeah, at the fucking castle or fun. something like that. Those yeah, are fun. To, like, incredibly stressful though, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I experienced what a panic attack was at a very early age <laughs> fuck, in the computer fuck. lab. <laughs> Fingers oh. on F and J. Yeah, Fingers on F and J. <laughs> I didn't write definitely fast enough. The teacher walks over with like one of those like covers for the keyboard and like puts it over. She's like, "Good <gasps> luck." You're like, oh. "No, dude, fuck. fuck that!" I still don't know where they are. I mean, I have to like look. Down. Oh, you don't know where they are, Charlie? You don't know where the fuck they are? <clears throat> Where's? Put oh. this in your pipe. Put okay. this in your okay. fucking pipe and right. smoke it. Oh, look at that. Nothing. What? Nothing. What is the audio oh, listeners oh, 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 love why? you to death? Yeah, Flat showing that us doesn't keyboard, fucking count. You're sending mail blank. to goblins. They can't read. Nothing. Mm, I'm the true. goblin man, bitch. Wow. <laughs> I am the goblin man. <laughs> I know I can't man. read. You just got a really thick New York accent. I'm the fucking goblin man. <laughs> just walking down the street man. in a suit. I need some fucking gabagool. <laughs> yeah, I went so, to men's warehouse. Just got myself dressed up. <laughs> I gotta go to Joseph A. Bank. <laughs> so speaking of That's good, LL Bean. <laughs> speaking of school growing up, uh, Mr. Meat Canyon. Um, mm. You know, I feel like I somewhat potentially could relate to you in the sense you know you you i assume that you've been making you've been making drawings making you know the the goopy gr grimy stuff that you you've been doing online for a like while that. did that like did i assume that that started were you a doodler in when you were growing up in you know elementary school and, and high school and stuff were you a doodle guy <clears throat> i did a little doodle did a little doodle from time to time i was big into spawn that was my big thing. Spawn? I like Spawn, Spawn? a lot. Yeah, Spawn. Spawn. Oh, like the, 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 comic, the book? comic book character? Oh. Yeah, the Todd McFarlane comic book. Oh. has like demons from hell and shit. Right. But he, used to, he used to always show like tons of gum and teeth and all that Ooh, stuff. And yeah. then right. all that kind of shit always always got me got me really good. I always thought that was really, really cool. Are you a fan of like the Guillermo del Toro movies then? Yeah, I think like it took me a little bit to get into it because I think everybody goes to that stage of like if you appreciate – 
I don't know, like certain films or certain things. It takes you a second to get into that realm. Right. Like, I don't think anybody can sit down and just be like, Pan's Labyrinth. What a concept, <laughs> you know? And be like, wow. It's like, man, my favorite movie was 300, but then I saw Pan's Labyrinth and it all turned around. <laughs> for me. It's like, it's a, it's a fucking, it's a bit of a, a step. But yeah, I would definitely say like, as I got older, I really love Guillermo del Toro and all that stuff he does, especially like Hellboy when yeah. I was younger. I think a good intro to his movies is Hellboy like for, for sure because it's got yeah. like that oh, sort yeah. of blockbuster feel to it, but it's really also got that, that mm -hmm. just freaky grime. I honestly, it's I'm, now that I think about it, I mean, like you, you're the level in which you create this sort of absurdity with how you make your characters. For those of you who don't know, me Kenny is an animator online. I know that Schlatt doesn't think he needs an introduction, but for those of you who don't know about him, he's a very, very Talented animator, the mind behind the Meat Canyon channel. Um, <clears throat> he works with a, a team to create these animations that uh, are, you know, they could be like random commentary on YouTube culture, but just absolutely taken to the most absurdist, darkest sometimes extent of just grime. I don't even know how to like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not beat around the bush. They are all unsettling, right? Yeah, incredibly unsettling. <laughs> but it's in, a, it's in a good way. I like it. Yeah. Um, uh, what was your like first like video that you posted that was in this sort of same category that of the of the content you make now with the Meat Canyon channel? Uh probably the Pinocchio one. That was like the one that blew up. Oh, first I've deal. seen that. Super uh super simple and like by today's standards for my channel. It's like pretty shitty, but it's like that was like the first time where I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna combine my loves of like the horror and shit and just put it in there as well. And it seemed to resonate with people. So it's been fun trying to figure out that trajectory of like the line of like weird uncomfortable stuff that feels kind of horror-esque mm. or like thriller or something and yeah. ride that with comedy in a weird way because sometimes there's like no comedy but like there's comedy on the channel so people are like oh that's hilarious right you know what i mean <laughs> and i think it's just because you don't really know how to re respond to the line is blurred besides just being like yeah. right yeah, yeah. So, or whatever but yeah. so was there a point where you sort of because I think some of the the videos that that do generally the best, or or some of the highest performing like on average ones on your channel, are the ones where that are about like situations that are going on with YouTubers, or about you know YouTubers that are that are people of of notability. Um, did you like originally go in being like, oh, I want to make these sort of recreations of these these people that exist, or was it like, oh, I could because it kind of at a certain point it kind of turned into like a in some ways like a commentary on stuff like i've seen you do one on like david dobrik where you kind of talk about like you know how he buys all these cars for people and then it's like he's give it's it's sort of making fun of how he's always giving cars to people and it sort of became it's mm -hmm. it's in one way it's like this ridiculous thing and it's also comedy but in other ways it's like has this sort of mix of also being a commentary on your mm -hmm. opinions your personal opinions on like these creators so like you crucified tommy in it that was funny <clears throat> Yeah, I, I mean, like, I think it's always just like with especially like Tommy, where it isn't really even a commentary on himself. I think it's just about how, like, I feel like Minecraft, at least there for a little bit. I mean, it probably still is. It feels like a new religion and stuff with right. how devoted people are to uh, these Twitter. people and these things and stuff. And it's like they raise them up in this weird way. And it, the, just like a fun parallel of like reaching godhood. And he's so young, too. So it's like. It, it felt like a fun thing to like transform and you yourself are like, you know, a God in this game and getting like put into the game and being held up to such a high degree. Right. Just fun visuals and stuff. Um, you know, like everything else, though, I mean, you know, I, I don't ever try to make it like where it's like, you know, f you know, fuck this person. Sure. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's never supposed to be like malicious. Like, yeah, David Dobrik, he like buys his friends. But like at the end, he has like giant tits and they all feed from him. And it's like funny. And it's like his whole <laughs> it's his whole like uh, it's his whole shtick, you know. Yeah. But it's like in, in no way in it is just like this is the problem with David Dobrik, you know? Because uh, I don't know if I'm the person to really do that when I'm trying to make these, like, goofy cartoons sure. or something. Sure, but... Yeah. You... Yeah. But then you have, like, fun parallels, like Nikado Avocado, that one. Yeah, I, I was, made, I was about like, to bring that up, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you have, like, the fun parallels of, like, uh, fame and what you do to, uh, you know, the parallels with, like, King Midas and him, I think, are pretty fun, where it's, like... You know, everything he touches turns to grease, but at this state, it's just, like, his whole shtick is, like, creating. His whole life and channel is, like, a soap opera now, and it's, like, how you adapt your own personal life to fit your content and growth and monetization and stuff. And 
you can find some fun yeah uh, narratives in that way too were you but, surprised when uh nikato <laughs> uh responded to that did you have like a feeling that they would no. probably would or like yeah <laughs> yeah 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 i mean based off whatever er, everything else that he's done he, he milks the shit out of it so i figured he'd do a couple ones and Dude, he has you you yeah. have to assume at that point because you know what you know what i think of when i see shit like that i think of that icarly episode you remember when they met fred oh, you guys oh remember when they met right. fred Alarmingly, yeah. that big I do. fucking controversy Wait, and then they con met up Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Like, like Fred, Fred, Fred like got Fred real pissed YouTube? at, yeah, Fred Figglehorn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fred got real pissed the at real the iCarly person. troop. Now, now I'm and the, yeah. the real, the real, the real Fred, right? Human Fred John Figglehorn. John Cena's dad. And then they started some big fucking fucking drama. And iCarly was like, "Fred, what are you doing? Why do you hate us?" And then Fred was like, "No, I don't hate you. Look at how many numbers you have now." And they looked and they're like, oh, fuck, I call these, this is the biggest the show has ever been. And then Fred's like, you know, you know, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome yeah. motherfucker. That, that <laughs> voice Fred. of Fred you did was the most haunt, like one of the scariest things. I almost said most haunting. I already used that for you once. It's <laughs> you always did. a chilling experience listening to do things sometimes. <laughs> hey, think, listen. No, I love you. <laughs> the goblin man pulls no punches. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say, Let bro? the figgle horn out. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, but, I, but I mean, it's also like I, I YouTubers are fun to just make videos on because we exist on the same site, right? You know, like everybody's probably heard of that person. Yeah, there's always there's already and, context for it, right? Have you ever made an like, animation on Fred? Yeah. Sorry for no. interrupting you. No, no, no. you should. No. He's he's really funny. He's big. I think you'd like him. Yeah. <laughs> you should. You could do like Fred ten years down the line. Like you could. I'm sure you could find something ridiculous. It's about such a that. hard line to walk, though. You have to like choose your subjects pretty carefully, and you have to like because it, it's like all these ideas are so weird because it's like it it's borderline. I always tell people that like my stuff mm -hmm. is also like borderline cringe. Of like it's just like. It, it rides that line pretty well of like self-aware kind of cringe of right uh having that revolting feeling of being like a god yeah you know um fred it's just like what i mean he had like what three fucking nickelodeon movies and he hasn't like put is he, is he on youtube still he's, on he's, YouTube on Lu way. he's lucas now yeah, i mean he YouTube dropped the whole himself. fred personality oh so he's zoned. <clears throat> okay yeah because back in the day when it was uh when it when fred was all big and he was the biggest guy on the site whatever like i remember Cena i was always like this movie. Yeah, he has he's his dad or something like that. I remember I liked the channel. It was like Make Me Bad 35. Oh, he had like yes. a similar thing. Yes. And I was like, this guy's so much better than Fred. <laughs> Make <laughs> me <laughs> bad. <laughs> Holy Make shit. Make Me Bad 35. That's my boy. Yeah. I remember back in the day, I was like, show my mom the videos. And she's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what even is this? I'd have her like, because they didn't have internet in my house. So you would, I'd have to like, she'd come pick me up at my friend's house. And I'd be like, you have to see this. She'd come to my friend's basement and they'd be like, watch this. And it was like one Tourette's guy video and then like one Make Me Bad yep. 35 video. True. And she's like, okay, great. Well, we're going home. And like, and, let's and leave. This has secured my non interest in having internet for the household. <laughs> <laughs> there is so little YouTube that ages gracefully. I, I love it. There's like so little you can go back to. It's but wild how I think how much things have changed in like, what is it? I mean, I guess it's more than, man, it's. Jeez, it, 15 years. Yeah, 15, 15 years. years. Right? It's kind of wild that it's only been around for that long, given how much of a mm. fucking powerhouse it is now. But um, do you, so you're, so when did you, you currently have a team for, for your animations and stuff yep. like that. When did you get to the point where you were like, had, had you had a team for a long time or like, did you get to a point where you were like, this is too much. I need to like it, start building something out here so I can actually. I just, I mean, like, I think with anybody, I think that when you start getting traction on your channel, you just, like, look, like, how can I keep evolving in a way where it still feels familiar, but you're putting more, like, care and thought into what you're making. Sure. And stuff, and especially with animation, it's just, like, you know, we're doing these turnarounds that are crazy, but, like, the cartoons look like shit, so I was, like, man, it'd be cool to get more people on this and, like, have it be, like, a really good-looking tune, or at least more, like, better looking. Right. And still have that same kind of turnaround date and have it be something that does feel more professionally produced, like, more attention to the actual, like, structure of the video. Yeah. And then, like, focusing more on, like, the content and, like, you know, writing and all that other shit, too. So Yeah, because you don't even uh, use, we, yeah. you don't even use, like, uh, 
royalty free music or anything. You have like a composer for like the the yeah. music and the yeah. and the stuff too, which mm-hmm. I think is really cool. That like you know you're making like little tiny, you know, films on uh in in, in many ways. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm trying, you know, just trying to, and, like, that's the thing, too, is just, like, it also just interests me, like, making something cool or, like, having a composer make something, and you can, like, I don't know anything about music theory, but I can at least, like, articulate my thoughts of, like... Yeah, you can give references. Like, the Dakota, like yeah, like, the Dakato video, he can play, like, violin beautifully in real life, so, like, I was, like, we really need to yeah. have, like, I want violins to build up in the back to build that suspense uh for his like realization and shit and it's like that kind of subtle undertone of things that's like you might not pick up on but it's like there and there's like some people are like oh the violin part's awesome and that's always cool to see yeah but, and that's uh, cool because you also do your research do. On, on like man this makes me want commentary like oh that you do on a fucking other channel over all this shit because i never would have picked <clears throat> up on any of this man well he does have another channel he's got papa meat do you talk? Do you do. do like analysis on the videos and everything? I try. I, I try not to. I just feel so like self masturbatory. Yeah, you know? I was well, gonna say like if you're already kind of in the valley there. <laughs> I, you guys won't even believe what I came up with this one. You know, I had like, this great idea to have violins in the. God, I tell you what. I I woke up my wife. Well, he, I was like, I, I I fixed it. I know what it is. <laughs> Goblin well, you, man <laughs> came to me in a dream. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, you actually He's did like, talk about up. the the violin thing in the because you did a reaction video too. Yeah, the, the, the I thought. Nikado. Yeah, I thought it'd be funny to do a reaction of his reaction. Right. Whatever. It felt fair. It felt, I watched that whole video. I thought it was great. I was I was oh, laughing good. along yeah. with you. You were having a great yeah. time in that video. You you were. You, oh, dude. That was great. He fat shamed me. That was so funny. That, he was so <laughs> fucking funny in that. He was like. Yeah, he he dragged my ass a couple of times. It was really really funny. Dude, he was, chose the most baller picture of you though. For, <laughs> I know. For, I was like, of like, all the things he you. could just. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, this might great. Like, it looks like a seventies, like a seventies, like Puerto Rican drug overlord. Yeah, it's like, like a sure, photo. Got a Goodwill. It's like a photo of you so in a good. car with like sunglasses on. You've got <laughs> yeah. like your 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 I'm, your <laughs> hair is a little bit shorter, and you've got like this Hawaiian shirt off and a uh, shirt on. And you're like looking to the right in like a car, and you are just looking like you are ready to like bust into some like BMI drug den with a gun and like <laughs> fight. Someone. Me and my wife, I know exactly that day because me and my wife ate at a steakhouse, and I was bloated to high hell. I mean, those fucking pants are about ready to rip at the seams and shit. And I like looked over at her, I was just ballooned up. It looks, it was so good. But I was like, it's so funny he chose that. I was like, also think to myself, where the fuck was that posted online? Like, I don't even remember posting. I don't post really any, like, pics besides, like, my, my dogs, like, whatever. But, right. yeah, I don't know where I got it. He must have Google, done some guess, seriously yeah. deep diving. He was probably there. In the background. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah, a year, like a year ago. <laughs> Just waiting in the back. He knew yeah. it was coming. If you... I wanted to... Oh, Ooh, Charlie, go. I've been, I've been asking <laughs> a lot of questions. No, me. it's okay. I wanted to ask, man, because you mentioned Spawn, and, you know, a lot of your stuff, yeah, it does kind of... Uh, sort of um, veer back into horror. Did you have any other inspirations or things that you still are just very, very into that you draw from? I like surrealist painting a lot. Mm. I found like, I don't know with you guys, but like if you're editing or doing anything like that, like working, I love pulling up documentaries on YouTube. There's so many like documentaries that just pop up in my random like recommended for you feed, Mm -hmm. whether it's like, whether it's like Frederick Nunson with like down the rabbit hole, like his stuff is awesome. Oh yeah, like that and, guy. And, and then there's also uh, just like random great documentaries of like painters, like Francis Bacon mm-hmm. has one called "A Brush with Violence" that's free on uh, YouTube, and like you know Bakinski, all sorts of just surrealist shit where they talk more in depth about like critical thinking with their paintings, and it's like sometimes they look like shit. It's one of those like fancy art ones where it's like a square. And right. Like, he was. He watched his father drowned in the pond. It's like, I don't know how that like <laughs> correlates with this, but it's just interesting, like that kind of stuff. And then also just like in like like really indie comics from like I don't know, like the seventies and stuff, like R. Crumb really was good, American Splendor, all that kind of stuff where it's a, a little more like lowbrow mm. kind of uh interesting, fun reading, but really crude art style that's really like fun to look at and then like a little more just vulgar with their approach to storytelling, which is cool. Right. All that kind of stuff, too. Ralph Bakshi, all that kind of shit. It's awesome, man. Dude, I feel like I need to watch a surrealist painting documentary. That sounds fucking cool. 
Um, They're great. Hey, everybody. It's me here, the best member of the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast, here to tell you about the sponsor of today's episode, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Do you want to learn how to edit videos like us? Do you want to know how to start a very successful podcast? Maybe you want to learn how to go outside. Let's say you just want to start with the video side of things. Well, consider this beginner premiere pro class taught by fellow YouTuber Haliz Narvaez. It's a crash course in Adobe Premiere Pro for people who've never picked it up before. And listen, when it comes to learning new skills, especially in this field, a lot of that stuff is gonna happen online. I mean, God knows school did not teach me a single thing about this kind of stuff. And lucky for us, Skillshare is curated specifically for learning. There's no ads and there's a bunch of new premium classes being added all the time. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Also lucky for us, we are giving a thousand of you guys a free one month trial for new members on the site. You can click the link in the description to get started on Skillshare for free. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's podcast. Enjoy. Do you do you feel like you're going to kind of, like you're comfortable here, you're liking it here, or do you see maybe a natural evolution of what you're doing kind of in you, this direction? Yeah, and also, are you comfortable here with us, or do we make mm. you a little bit nervous? I am, I am. It's, 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 I feel like it's really? just like a nice big Snuggie. It's mm. nice. It's, oh. I feel warm. I've never gotten you roll that out before. the red carpet, dude. Goblin Man. <laughs> I know. Uh, I was like, damn, this is Goblin Man keeps his <laughs> goblins Tiger <comfortable>. kill you. <laughs> Tiger kill. We've got we've got what is it? Uh robotic robot mongoose. Robot Tiger mongoose. Kill you I was uh I was Turtle Boy 136 for my email. Oh that was my email. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's why you were so mad about the turtle episode, Charlie. <laughs> dude, I really liked turtles. Oh lot. yeah, when we a said lot. we were gonna kill every turtle, you did do that. Um, yeah. I did say I we, we would Rattling kill every turtle. It, Charlie has done something and crushing and terrible. Yeah, yeah every, everyone in this call yeah. besides Charlie has done something terrible to a turtle. I mean, in the my most <laughs> recent video, we I had uh, Meat Canyon on for the uh, improving ocean animals, and he recreated a sea turtle to make it better for the ocean where it has a giant maw on its stomach that it has a mm. muscular tongue that takes trash and it has a whole social hierarchy of dominance it was really really good it's true um it's beautiful but i had a turtle it was kind of like that to you had a turtle <laughs> yeah i had a turtle uh, oh this explains this explains everything Dude, I, I had a turtle i never talked about it because i never would have said i would have turtle you charlie start viscerally I, describing putting straws into their eyes charlie I if know, i knew you had it. a turtle i never would have said i, I would have killed happily murdered <laughs> all of them you're right you're right i think that Before, we should have we should have gone somewhere but in that a was the, the only yeah. the only place to appropriately segue into me having a turtle was after you said that you'd kill all you're them. terrible. So I kind of didn't really yeah. have maybe the jumping off point I was looking for. Okay? We, I, and you know what? I still stand by it. I will murder every <laughs> so single turtle. I'll murder <laughs> every single that's one. A, yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll do that's that nice fucking TikTok down. where they where they like do. Do you see that one recently where yeah, they get like a little feet. toothbrush? They oh, clean they, them the up. They peel them off. Peels off his fucking shell. What the fuck? What are you guys eat talking about? You've I'm never talking seen this. You've never seen that. And they shit. dance with the toothbrush. No. They we're, their... no, no, <laughs> we're on a different no, side no, of no TikTok, dancing. man. Oh, man. You're like, oh, he's Dude. taking a fun bath. Turtle's <laughs> name was he's he's in a fucking prep no, sink. No, there's a, there's a TikTok. Wider. Charlie, there's a TikTok of like somebody washing a turtle. And then, and then the next shot, you see him pulling those individual tiles of its shell off. And then the next thing you know, it's on a plate and it's four of the turtles, all four of the turtles legs just there, like prepared, plated. What the fuck, man? A little ceramic this, plate. I fucking hate this podcast, man. This sucks. No, you're, uh... you're right. We should probably end the turtle, um, the turtle slander. We, I think you that won't. the next, well, no, I'd rather go after something that I think is even more disgusting, which is, you know, the fucking, uh, pick demon another, lizards. pick another the love lizards of the world, the bearded had. dragons, kill all the bearded oh, dragons. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Let's kill all bearded dragons, Ted. What are they, what have they ever done to you? Huh? Do they get little, do they get little soda plastic wraps around their neck and die? No. How is that? Good point. I think just that's what you, why do you say like that's hurt you, man? Why do you say like that? Do you have, dropping the mic? Do, wait, do, do you have a bearded dragon? Sean? I had one a while ago. What the um, fuck? What is up with all like? Did you guys live in zoos? What happened to just having cats and dogs? I had a dog growing up. I had a dog growing up. I don't know what's wrong with these guys. They just like fucking lizards. I had two freaks. dogs named Wolfgang and Constanza. Uh, 
The, those are the two dogs I had growing up. And God. Wolfgang, Constanza would steal all of Wolfgang's food, and then Wolfgang would put his head under the bottom of the sofa and pretend he was dead all day. The, <laughs> it's funny when you say that your dogs Lord. are when you say that your dogs are Wolfgang Constanza. Wolfgang and Constanza, <laughs> that gives like me the, the Seinfeld I, character, and I, also I, the, I was, fa- the famous musician to, Mozart. It all went over my head. I think so. I don't know. Uh, see, I was going. I, w- I was going the the chef. That gives I was, me I thought, the I was, I was like a Wolfgang P- California oh, Pizza Kitchen. Wolfgang oh. Puck. No, they were great yeah, though. I was thinking Wolfgang Buck. I, I awesome, didn't go. Dude. I Mozart. love that guy. Um, the the fucking uh, too. name Wolfgang just gives me the imagery in my mind that your family was operated in such a way that like if you wanted to talk to your father, like you had to walk into like his office and it was like one of those really like it had like leather Daddy. seats. There was like a library and it's playing like Daddy. classical music and he's like reading a book and you're like, um, father, Daddy. Uh, yeah, and he's like, "Yes, what is it? Yes, what is it? Ch- uh, what can I do you for, child? <laughs> what is it, Charles? Or, or yeah, doesn't even Wolfgang. call him. Doesn't even uh, know his good name. Chief. Child, boy, <laughs> who are you? Who, who's there? He's blind. <laughs> oh, oh, where are you? Uh, and you're like just asking to like do something. He's completely absent in every way. Wolfgang, to can me. I go to laser tag with my friends? Lasers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. It's going to be fun, Father, I swear. <laughs> All the children from school are going, please. <laughs> it's like yeah. I'm really back there, man. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to it he goes to his room and says it's him walking through all the empty halls of the of the grand estate. <laughs> His only friend is Wolfgang. What am I going to do, Wolfgang? Father won't listen to me. He's too busy speaking Stop playing with the oil dead, barons. <laughs> You've been playing dead all day. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, w- awaken. Father's coming. <laughs> Wolfgang, that's just not funny. I tell you right now. The metronome of grandfather clocks fill the halls oh as he goodness. was walking down. It's just... This is we're, what we're good. describing this right is, now is Charlie's real childhood. He talks about all these things that you know. All of it's not. I'm real. not he, saying anything because I'm there, man. I'm in the fucking hall. The clocks are ticking. <laughs> There's okay. like no the rust. grandfather it's clock. Like, it's all these like it very expensive ornate floorings and stuff. The real thing. The real question is. Inst- I feel like he thinks that it was a turtle, but really, what was the turtle? You know, where you like you, you, your memory fools you. Like, oh, I had a turtle, but really, it was like. A small man with like a large metal ball on his back that like, gave him crackers or something what? like that. It's like our fucking family waiter, <laughs> just yeah. dressed up. And he's like, "You're so, you're such a funny turtle." And he's like, "Thank you, Charlie. Thank you." <laughs> he's fucking stop! Stop it! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! <laughs> uh, <laughs> now walk around the room for me, turtle. I want to see you dance. All right, sir. All right, All right, right, right. Will. Please, sir, may I have some water? Turtles don't Get- drink water. They only swim in it. <laughs> Jesus, brutal. God. You drink the Sunny D. That's all you get. <laughs> it's just a big glass of Sunny D. It's been on the windowsill for three days. <laughs> it's had in the house. house. Only had Shoving a, a fucking straw up the nose. and Drink, turtle. Drink. <laughs> He does, oh. gets up and does a little Texas two-step. Yay. <laughs> he dances for me. <laughs> Be brave. Oh. Yeah, this is becoming like a, a, like a, a we are, post We are story. just fully in a Meat Canyon video right now. <clears throat> all he tries, of, to, all of his tries to sip the Sunny D, are... straw goes down the throat, he chokes, he dies. We bury all him the up previous back. turtles are below the, the floorboards. <laughs> we're going go. Edgar Allan Poe. Um, <laughs> right? What would you say is the cartoon that you've released that you are the most proud of? Oh my God. And you oh, better answer question. me truthfully. If you don't, we'll know. And you can't say none of them. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys feel this way. Whenever you're done with a project, you're always just looking at it like you're just it's like a disappointing it's like a disappointing son. You know what I mean? Yeah. You look at it, you're just like, this could have been better this way, this could have been yeah. better that way. The you honeymoon know, phase the ends about halfway through, I find. And then as after as that, ranked, it's just fucking disgusting. You're as making as soon as it's monster. ranked and it's below five. You're like you're dead to me. <laughs> you ever, as you, you get it ranked and it's if it's bad ranking, you're like for, forgotten. Do you ever notice you know? how sometimes if a video is doing better in the ranking, you sort of look? It tricks your brain into looking at that video as if it's like a better video, maybe necessarily than it actually is in terms of like quality. Do you guys ever have that? 
Where it's like you have a one out of ten, you're like, this is the best video I've ever made. But oh, it yeah. It definitely happens because I deliberately try and like not to think that way. You know what I mean? I, I just because I've dropped stuff I really like. And oh, it's right. You're above that, like, Charlie. No, I'm sorry. That's definitely funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, for, I forgot mm. Charlie's above that. You know, he's got his grand estate. He's got to go back to <laughs> Oh, <his>. Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes when I get a 10 out of 10, <laughs> Goblin Man is like, no, you know, I got a friend. <laughs> you know, for the longest time, Shlatt, I didn't it, was only, it was only really recently, Schlatt, that I realized that that kind of stuff even affected you. I thought for some, for some reason in my mind, I was like, Schlatt's immune to this. He doesn't worry about this at all. And hey, Goblin Man's half man. Goblin, Hey, listen, I might be half Goblin, but the other half of me is still man. The man, the heart of a man. Ex exactly. Body of a goblin, exactly. heart of a man. I feel Body of a goblin, uh, <laughs> tiny heart of a man. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't call yeah, this mean, episode I, I, Goblin I Man, that, I'm going to lose it. I feel like as of late, the only thing that I've ever said, like my favorite one is probably that I did that yokai Bob the Builder thing that I was actually pretty proud of. Mm. And it was just, probably just because it was like, it was in a different language and shit. And that was like its own yeah, like, I saw that one. A, a what was the process for getting people that could like properly, like one, like do a proper like uh, performance in Japanese, and then also the translation process? <clears throat> like, what was that whole process like? Because this was for those of you who don't I mean, know, this was fucking... like an animation that was like sort of like it was like, supposed to be like an anime. Yeah, it was like an anime. Like a, yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be because I, the whole thing was that I was like researching like Japanese house spirits, which are called yokais. They could be called something else, but. I thought that that was interesting that, like, they believed that there was, like, basically for anything. If you didn't fluff your pillows, the fucking pillow would, like, suffocate you or do something. It was oh all God, about, oh, like, fuck. maintaining a clean... I'm screwed. It was all about, like, maintaining a clean home. But I thought it would be weird to do, like, something that's a part of, like, Japanese culture, but have it be, like, in English. So I was like, it'd be cool to do this in Japanese and, like, be able to, like, get really great performances out of that and make it feel like it stands on its own. Right. So getting, going through and getting... These Japanese voice actors was like pretty hard, it, like just going through different sources to get to people who do like anime dubs or like do um, professional voice acting in Japan or something. Right, was was how we, what we ended up doing. But even like lip syncing was different because like in anime it's like two shapes, you know what I mean? Right, like it's just open, close, and they're done. And then like in Western they they're like way more. They do like. They, they get the la, little, like, the la face, the 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 phenoms, all the mouth shapes, you know, because right. it, it just like aesthetically I think fits English a little more. But um, so we tried doing that, but yeah, I don't know. It was just like really fucking like a hectic turnaround, and we pulled it off. And it uh, it, it was I don't think it was like one of my top performing videos, but it was one that I was like pretty stoked on. Like yeah. I think it's gonna be one that holds up, hopefully. Yeah, I definitely think that there cool. are some videos that like you're like there's one that i'm working on right now that's like my incorrect <clears throat> history one that i'm trying to finish that is uh it's like those ones that stand on their own that you're like no matter how well this video does like you kind of know that it's, it's a like, wonder to me yeah exactly yeah. charlie it's a wonder to man. i get you yeah it's hard and then they, and then if it gets like 10 out of 10 you waste all that money you're just like you know what fuck that, <laughs> fuck that video <laughs> my mentality towards uh yeah i mean i don't know it's just like it's so it's so hard i fucking hate the youtube studio app so much yeah and it's one of those things Wish too where not. it's like i guess we could get you could get rid of the ranking thing but it wouldn't really change much about I think it would, dude. I st I straight up don't think I was like this before the one out of ten thing was introduced. That shit it's that fucked. shit changed us. That turned but me also, into Goblin Man. I I genuinely. It's it's yeah. tough though to like measure that though because at the same time, like before the one out of ten thing was the thing, we were also way smaller, so we had like less. You know how the you know the pressure grows as you get larger. Kind of thing. It only, but it's like you have it, something to lose after a while. Yeah, you know? yeah. But that's, that's the problem. It starts mattering once it. I kind of stops being a hobby, huh? And it's like, yeah, now you're trying to make it comes it, your job, and then it's not you know like it's not something you do on your free time anymore just to enjoy it. You definitely you know, feel like, it when you're that making you something. Not that you don't enjoy it. Not that you don't it because I, I don't want people think, listen to this and being like, man. All YouTubers who grow in size are suddenly soulless beings walking the plains of nothingness. No, like, no, nah, it's it's like we, we, the scale know. tips towards Goblin. <laughs> it does. I it's, suppose it we tips can, towards it, it, Goblin. It's hard because Let's uh, be real. as your channel grows, you're expected to keep that like boyish charm of being like, 
it's me and my friends making videos, but then after a while, it becomes like you have to ride the line of creativity and business, which those two do not go hand in hand. So it's like whenever you're trying to do things that are like strictly comedy, you have to think about like also the business aspect of things. It's like this like weird pendulum that is always kind of swaying, and Dude, it's it, it's, a, it's it's like, hard to know like how to ride that line sometimes, and it just mm -hmm. is kind of lame. It's like yeah. how you know here's my cool idea <clears throat> that I want to do now. How do I mold this in a way that's you know, going to be acceptable. That people will watch. Right? That the algorithm yeah. will enjoy. I know, right? And that's kind of, that's kind of a bummer yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, a little mm -hmm. bit. And I love how YouTube is doing this. Hey, we're removing dislikes for you. You know, we we care oh, yeah. about your health. Meanwhile, Thank you, Susan. Meanwhile, you'll still <laughs> see the dislikes. Only yeah, the viewers so won't crazy. see them. That's and we're so keeping wild. the rating system. You know the fun. you know the the rating system she's, that she I don't keeps creators in a perpetual no state of uh, anxiety <laughs> and self loathing. You didn't upload. You didn't upload this week. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, cool. We are all just confetti chasers at the end of the day. Uh, geez, seriously. If you don't know, I mean, I think I mentioned this on the podcast before, but if you get yeah. it, there's a ranking system on YouTube based on your video's performance, and if you get a one out of ten out of your most Yee. ten recent videos, YouTube will literally <laughs> give you confetti. On the YouTube you, Studio app, it will make it anything will, under it, anything like under four too is just like this isn't reaching a wider dude, scale it audience. Gives you or like red, it gives you red. Your yeah. monitor breaks. Blood starts seeping out of the edges. <laughs> Susan it stops does. at nothing, man. I think the one improvement that they made though was was changing the down arrow stuff to being gray instead of red. I I I hated. I I prefer red. Really, gray makes me feel hollow. Gr gr Gray's like you're dead. You're dust. You're a fucking. You're a pile of bones. <laughs> Instead of at least with red, I was like, uh oh, yeah. red light. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, let's 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 th figure out. I, regardless, I don't know. Like, I, I wish that they would never even have the green where it's just like, mm. Mm. <laughs> good, good please, on you, good job. Please wait one hour until your uh, full report is generated. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Exactly. Looks like your audience didn't give a shit about this one. <laughs> exactly. It Change, yeah, it, I, I, it I, says, I love it when it says, I love it when it says, uh, changing the title or thumbnail may help, but some subjects just aren't going to like, just aren't going to do good. Sometimes it's not? just You're destined to fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, have a panic attack and, and text 80 people about what you should do. And then, and then <laughs> rotate I'm back so around. I'm so glad this is a shared yourself. experience. Here's the yeah. number for oh, the everybody. suicide hotline. You know, you're already <laughs> exactly. you're yeah. calling it That's, may or may not help with this video's performance. <laughs> That's hilarious, though, uh, Hunter, that you're, you're that that is what you do. Where because that is literally what we do as well. When the video is not doing well, the going around your entire yeah, friend like, group and being like, and being like, guys, I'm in my, I'm in my bag guys. right now, guys. What's going on here? And then it's, and it's like, you know, even in, in this, in this chuckle sandwich discord, we have when one of us is we having do a bad in video, this, we do. it's like, it's like one of us is having a, a, a bad video performance. And then the other two guys are like, all right, let's fucking figure this out. Let's let, like, hey, you could do this. You could do this. And it's like, oh, all right. Giving updates to each other. How's it going? Oh. I hate when you do the updates though too, and then it's just like you see the comments of people who are like catching it, and you're kind of oh, like, yeah. you're trying oh, to make a change like, three they're times. Like, they're now. like, hey, I, yeah, I see like, what you're doing. This video's bombing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. He's just being like, oh, not performing well, lol, and you're just like, shut up, <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I have a wife. <laughs> I have bills I need to pay. <laughs> Help me, God. The You've lights got will be off too. very soon. I need this. I do. I have chickens and chicken. ducks to, to, I have to, to. I have to feed. You have chickens. And they are. Yeah, I, I went over I to his. I went over to his place one time, and he's got like, he's got like so many animals. It's crazy. Is that true? Wait, tell situation. me about it. Yeah, just your chickens, ducks, some fish, some t frogs, Dude. Some cats, and dogs. Are you Three like? Eggs. Do you have like a whole fucking? Was it war out there? Like a big piece of land? I got a pretty good sized backyard, and we built a chicken coop out there. And the 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 ducks, uh, the ducks are cool because they just like. I mean, they don't fly away. They're just like chill around, and they eat bugs around the yard. So they're pretty good for like, you know, spiders, what, like any of that kind of stuff that gets into your home. The, the ducks will actually eat. So it's like, wow, do you helpful like to have leave out there. the door open? You just hell no, dude. Ducks just come in every once. They travel time. together. <laughs> Trash too. birds walk around my beautiful home, dude. They fucking like they walk in a pack. They got they got a little click going on. It's the, like a little gangster fat film. Asses, big fat asses on them. And they like they go side to side. And they walk together. It's hilarious. How many I ducks are there? I think we're at eight now. Do they? Have, have you ducks. named them all? 
my wife has. I can't keep up with them. That makes sense. I, I, there's one that looks like the Affleck duck that's named Lemon, and I know that. Wait, 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 wait. So you have enough ducks and have enough experience with ducks that you can distinguish a duck that looks the most like the Affleck duck? Well, it's just, you know, white with the regular beak. Oh, I thought you were you know? saying, like, the face shape of the duck. Like, you have, like... A, like <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No, 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 Like, you were like, no. this guy's got eyes like the Affleck duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's perfect symmetry on him. He's <laughs> fucking gorgeous. Yeah, no, a little... Uh, ducks are cool. Ducks are really cool. Chickens are, aren't bad either. They're cool. We've we've been eating duck eggs and chicken eggs on all Ooh. sorts of shit. Yes, man, that's it's good great. stuff. Baked goods with duck eggs. God damn. Ooh. What do you... That's a, that's a treat. What makes a duck egg... Like, is a duck egg better? I think so. My wife will make like blueberry muffins and she'll be like, compare. And the duck eggs always one just always tastes the best with goat milk. I, this is so funny, mm. the contrast between how like like peaceful and domestically <laughs> you 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 live. And then you go online and then your job is like making like these horrific nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> of, I just think it's I just think it's fascinating. I enjoy, I enjoy it. No, no, it, it is. Say? It's great. I, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a wonderful like. It's like you, you know you you're sort of like a modern Hannah Montana. I like that. Ooh, Ooh. Hmm. I like that a lot. Okay. Do I get to go through my bangers phase? Is that was that the album she did whenever she was like you know. I'm not daddy's girl no more. Remember that? Swinging around that wrecking ball and stuff. Oh, yeah, licking the sledgehammer that. and yeah, shit. She yeah, did yeah, have that yeah. sort of uh, growing up. Or are she's you like, still, I'm not Are you still Montana. daddy's girl, Meek Canyon? Huh? Are you, are you duckies girl? girl? My, duck, my duckies girl my daddy's girl? I think I'm both at the end of the day. That's that's profound. Mm, that is profound. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. So you got, like you got ducks, so. you got chickens. Is that it? Just birds? Birds on? Birds and we have some frogs, and oh. some toads, and oh. we have fish and all sorts of shit. You like a little pond for two them, dogs. Or? Got a big old basset hound and a German Shepherd husky mix and two cats. What? Whoa! Wow! You have a whole farm, man. That's great. Dude, and you don't run into awesome. any problems with your cats and dogs and the various just little birds you have. They're all no. chill. Actually, the the dogs love the, my my big or my basset hound likes the uh, the chickens a lot. Oh, he's like always tries to he always tries to hang with them, but they just don't fuck with him at all. So it's always a sad cycle of him being like chasing him around, being like, "Wait, let me <laughs> hang out with you. I'm one of you." Yeah, uh, yeah, like literally. And then they're just like, <laughs> "Like run!" And they just like spread across the yard. Uh, Was there a? But yeah, no, they they all live pretty good. Were the were the chickens like? Did they get introduced after you had the dogs? So like there was a period of time where the dogs were like, "What the fuck is going on?" Like they, no, we tried to train them because we, with the ducks and the chickens, we raised them in our garage with like heat lamps and stuff, and then we'd bring the from dogs eggs? so they could look at them. Yeah. Whoa. Fucking cultivated. You're, them. Holy you're shit. So cool, man. <laughs> we we bred them. <laughs> uh, the uh, That's the but yeah, we just we just kept like slowly introducing them, and then like after a while, dogs are just so fucking stupid they just don't care. So we're like, okay, right. They just kind of have yeah. to. They just need to check it out first. They just need to sniff. Yeah, if everything you, if you introduce first. your dogs to stuff every once in a while, it's just like that's like the problem with like dogs with other dogs behind fences is they've never, they can never see them or interact with them properly. So it's just this like pissing contest all the time. Right. <laughs> that's and interesting. Really I feel like I, I have. Um, I mean, I'm I'm up here in Vermont. It can get pretty rural once you get out there. I feel like I've heard right. the exact opposite, you know, like I know people that have chickens and there's just been like dog attacks and stuff, people that let their animals run wild. So I, it makes mm. me very happy when you're like, yeah, man, it's just all, it's just peaceful back there. The dog's a chicken. He's running around. <clears throat> I mean, I would never bring my dogs on other people's yeah. birds, you know, we're just, they're, they're associated with my shit, but at the same time, like I'm not a person, I wouldn't let my dog like, you know, go around no, other course. people's stuff without having them know, but yeah. No, I mean it's, it is. It's like you just it's just nice association and if you can keep doing that. Also it's like basset hounds are just like genetically an abomination. <laughs> so it's like there's no way that dog will ever catch any of those right. chickens at all either. So They were just good at like yeah. smelling, right? That's pretty much it. Yeah, my wife told me I didn't know this. The reason that the ba basset hounds ears are so long yeah, is because they they were bred because they drag on the ground and then that way their nose can smell the scent so they never lose track of that scent. Oh, they drag on the They're ground. Tracking. I'm not sure how. Uh, wait, so the, how does the ears dragging on the ground help the sniffing? When they're what? sniffing on the ground, their ears will drag, and they will uh, the ears will hold that scent that they're uh, oh. tracking, and they oh. take their nose and they they will smell their they'll they'll smell their ears and stuff to never. So they'll always. That's why they're so good at tracking is because they keep that. Their nose is obviously really powerful, but also they're just like 
they uh, will just have that like that um, constant scent on their ears that they're tracking, so they just never forget. It's kind of what Schlott does a little when he gets a when he gets a musk in his little mustache. When I get a musk stash, let me smell my. When he gets the scent of that beef bulgogi. Oh, dude, and it stays with you. It It stays with you. Sometimes funny because his his. His mutton chops actually detach from his face, and then they become elongated, larger, and then they start yes. dragging. What was on the, the What was the thought process for the facial hair? Um, I, I, mean, I wanted to make. Okay, so here's what I did. I face revealed in September of 2019, right before yeah. TwitchCon. I was a I was a Minecrafter. I was on a Minecraft server. I had a bunch of stands. The day I face revealed was the worst day of my life because everybody on Twitter changed their profile picture to the same image of so me. So submissive and breathable. I'm just like. You know, so fuckable, so fuckable. And so what I did is I took it upon myself to make myself as ugly, make myself as ugly as possible. So not only did I grow out my facial hair to the most disgusting, like who, why, why do you do this? But I also got fat too. And so... I tell you what, I I I absolutely disagree with the facial hair. I think that this is a ploy to get Confederate kind of like Civil War style. Finally, uh, someone calls him out on it, man. (laughs) It's It's about time. No, man, I'm not trying to bring anything back. There's not not one. (laughs) There's not one man who doesn't learn about the Civil War in school. Who doesn't look at those deal those those pictures of those generals and you're like, damn. You've been talking about state rights a lot on the podcast. Hey, listen, listen, listen. The War of Northern. Aggression, you know, it, it, it is what it Isn't is. What it is what we, we'll leave it at that. We don't have to talk about it. Isn't that what they teach in school in the South? They call it the War of Northern Aggression some places. I don't know. I don't know. I, that might be I a rumor. Know. I don't I'm not sure. When I was in, I, I, I went to school in Kansas City. Or I'm from Kearney, Missouri, which is outside of Kansas City, Missouri. And when we learned about the Civil War, I think we watched Glory. And that was about it. <laughs> if you've ever seen that, that's with Matthew Broderick and uh, Denzel Washington. Mm. It is it is uh, not a great film to learn about the encompassing <laughs> the of whole what thing. the <laughs> philosophical take on the Civil War is. Uh, having Ferris Bueller and fucking Man on Fire together in a movie doesn't really embody the whole uh, yeah. w- what you're looking for. What else, what yeah. are, they, what else are they going to do? Teach you? Come on, man. Yeah, what, what do I gonna, teacher? Can I learn something? He's just like I, I, I'm the wrestling coach. I don't know what you want from that. <laughs> like puts you in a headlock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just like, well, that was counterproductive. Just like sure, this out is on called a three point takedown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot today. But yeah, that's the goal. The goal is to make myself as uh, un un lookable like you just don't want to look at me anymore i'm just like a sad fuck wreck at See, this point you're just you're you're smart about this schlock because you're saying this you know that's going to get people riled up to look at you more you're also doing what fine art does where it's counterculture it's against the grain of course you're like you're you're basically a walking gucci symbol at this point mm. i would imagine oh i appreciate mm. that no it is definitely me pulling strings behind the scenes knowing that this is exactly <laughs> uh it's working out the exact way i want it to hey. in reality i just got really lazy one day i stopped shaving and uh i can't grow facial hair here so it just became mutton chops someone's got to I mean, start mutton the chops war need to make you know, a comeback they start themselves they do i mean i i i feel like i kind of rock them at some points Maybe when I'm not uh, fucking fat and disgusting, but see, Ted would have really nice mutton chops because he has a nice butt chin. So it's like a, a nice little, it's Ooh, it's a poignant Ted. thing, and it, it, it would have a beautiful, beautiful mutton chops that bring your eyes to the. I gotta say, chin I gotta say, this lighting right now doesn't wow. accentuate my butt chin going on here. Let me the see crimson can... chin. You have the, you have the little crease in the middle Look there. That. How's yeah, that? Wow. Okay. Cool. You're gonna have to blur oh, that, nice. dude. That's that's getting a little that's raunchy. Tight. Damn, that is that's the meat canyon there? right there. Oh, wow, that's the meat canyon. Oh, crap, what is that supposed to be? God damn, dude. Ideally, yeah, I I'm, want I'm my. About half that's the that's the chussy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the chussy. Yeah, oh, there, 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 there it is. The chussy. There it is. The ideally, chussy I want good. it to connect. I want to have the mutton chops connect, but it just doesn't. It doesn't. So I don't know. Does the does your mustache grow long in the front too? Like, does it grow long like over your lips and stuff? Yeah. I was gonna say I, I've seen some dudes with his mutton chops and like their whole mustache like almost covers their mouth and it's like <laughs> I don't know about that. it's 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 fucking brutal. You you can only have that though when you're like past fifty five years old. You That's think? the only time it's acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, so you have a Harley? And they're like, oh yeah. yeah. 
that's that's well, when that's the age at which you, you know you're 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 kissing your wife like maybe like once a week if you're if you're feeling in the mood. <laughs> Yeah. She's like, we should go out. He's like, huh? God, I mean, a lot. how a often lot. do I have to do this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm watching American Choppers. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I, dude, I'm, I, honey, I'm busy watching the S&P channel. I don't think I know what the fuck the S&P channel is. I don't know. That, you know that channel? That's, no, there was something there. You know the channel that's like they're just showing jewelry off? Oh, QVC, so it's just like, like, something like that. I thought it was yeah, called something yeah, along yeah. the lines of that. Something like that. I think I actually S M P is uh is uh the the Rihanna song or the uh, S M the the, Ch the C and pleasure. Change. I thought you're talking. I thought you're talking, talking like one of the servers. Isn't that what the servers that's are what called? The server, the well, that's my whatever head whatever SMP, I intended yeah. on saying, it failed miserably, and now I've embarrassed myself. No, I think we should linger on it a little longer. Though. I think you Let's should linger. because Let's linger. You really mean to say, man. Yeah, degrade. What is the Rihanna song? S M D Search and Destroy. Sir, you said Rihanna. W A P. Something. Yeah. You know, the yeah she's talking about how chains and whips excite yeah, her. I want to be bad, but I'm perfectly good. Ted, were you trying good. to say that chains and whips excite you when you said that, man? That's kind of weird. Yeah. Man, what the yeah, heck? Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm with that. We have I'm a with guest that. <laughs> um. You changed as soon as you once you showed your chussy, man. Things yeah, the now. chussy sort of brings that out of me. I'm telling you, you you, you got you got to fucking blur that, or else there's gonna be some, there's gonna be some edits going on. You're gonna have <laughs> to grow <laughs> hair over that. After that is this intense. Goddamn. Every profile picture on Twitter is gonna be the chussy. I like. You got to stop. <laughs> that that is intense. Good lord. Oh man. And your fingers right there in the middle of it. It's like, what are you playing with, dude? Who, who, who are you who are you fooling? Good lord. <laughs> um, I feel like we may stop? be reaching the end of our allotted time for a podcast. So should we Listen, do did, yeah. you, did, oh, did you know did you know that you can store scents on your mustache, Mr. Mr. Meat? Did do you do that sometimes? Like what? if you're eating something you really enjoy, like oh. some beef bulgogi from your favorite Korean barbecue restaurant. You kept saying beef bulgogi, and I don't know what that bulgogi, is. Bulgogi, beef, beef bulgogi. bulgogi. Yeah, that's bulgogi. that's what you gotta. Bulgogi. It's what you gotta beef eat bulgogi. when you go to the you, Korean you, barbecue. You, you gotta have beef you do, bulgogi. Uh, <clears throat> what, this, this is a classic thing that I find more and more people do. I'll say, I don't know what that is, and you say the thing four or five more times. Yeah, beef bulgogi. Try this on. Try <laughs> this That's on. The name. Beef bulgogi. I don't know what that is. You it's like beef. That? Like, it's a beef, beef, beef bulgogi. bulgogi. It's just a pile of beef that they give you at the restaurant. You'll you put right, it on right, the right, hot yeah, plate. It's, it's delicious. It's marinated. It's bulgogi. So it's so beef bulgogi. So you eat it. So you eat it. You have grease. You have grease all over your mustache. Yes. And you, during the day, yes. you smell it. Is what you're saying. Yeah, you. It's like a nice little reminder, almost. You know. Mm. What if you got sort no, in there do that. right now? You don't do that. What have you got in there? What kind of sense? What, what sort of sense have you got cooking in there right now? I'll tell you one time when I first started growing on my mustache when I was younger, I drank some. I drank whole milk. Okay, this is the and same thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh. No, 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 no. Oh, what have? What have? What? Are you talking about? Uh, continue, dude. I that must have been awesome. Just continue. every time you just uh, bring up your lip. <laughs> I oh. went in, I got that deal, and I and I did the whole deal. Bottom lip, go up, do the scrape to get the rest of it out of your mustache, and just some lingered to where it was like just perfectly hidden out of sight. And I was like, "What the fuck is that smell?" And it was just like curdled milk. Oh, no, Jesus! Yeah. The whole time. Yeah, this is the. Exact and then I went in, and, and then when I I, I went to shower that night, and I took like. Shampoo and I was washing my beard and stuff and I did that. Oh fuck! And just fucking flakes of like dry uh, milk oh fell down. God. This is the worst answer Bro. you could have possibly given me. Thank this you. This is like man. this. This is exactly like the conversation we had with Swagger Souls, yeah, it is. who said there's oh, a okay. challenge I'm going gone. around where I'm you gone. where you I'm dip gone. your whole mustache. In, okay, Charlie's gone. Uh, where you dip your whole mustache in milk and then you wait and you see how long you can leave it there. Yeah, how long can you go? Is that an actual challenge? If so, that what is the name of that? Um, that has to have remember. a very creative he, name. The Milky Stash Challenge. Mil <laughs> milky Stash Challenge? Yeah, the Milky Stash Challenge. I would challenge. hope it's a little I would hope it's a little better than that, but I would accept that. <laughs> if someone's like, dude, it's the fucking Milky Stash. You done it this weekend? Or or like, yo guys, we're getting it's together. Like we're, How the hell we're getting did you together guys find we're doing out about milk my milky stash. stash. We're doing a milk stash. A little milk stash is good. Mm, yeah. Curd stash, spoiled stash. I, I'd probably be down with spoiled stash. Um, we kind of find how about the, the, the coordinates. Has... Good luck finding it. Yo, guys, we're getting together this weekend, <laughs> and we're all trying to do. We're trying to do the cow's revenge. Cow's revenge. I like revenge. that you. I, I, that is, oh. I like that you. you would everybody dip their mustache in the same thing of milk too? Because the last guy, that's got to suck. He definitely got to pull straws for. 
yeah. dipping the milk in. Yeah. Dude, you're playing the long game at that point. I feel like it doesn't even matter who gets that first dip. That's who gets probably that true. Last the dip. bovine. Uh, hmm. No, you got something there. The bovine I like something. Bovine. Hef. What, what's the, what's the, the bovine? Bovine intervention is a funny, funny joke. I like to pull out. <laughs> The, could you do it? Could you you could name it off the kind of milk like you do like the two percent dip? The you could do it. The, <laughs> you, 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 you call it dip. you could call it a skim dip. The, there you go. The skim milk try to be healthy. Skim Yo, skim, no skimmy dipping. Skimmy dipping. We've got it. We've got it. Oh, skimmy dip. That's good. Skimmy dip, nice. Not bad. Uh, say the now, no listeners do that challenge. ever, and let it just fade so, away. Please do. Please would do. Would you? Take a gross, <laughs> don't, take, don't send us pictures. Don't send us so, anything. So, <laughs> question for you, Papa Meat. Would you do the skimmy? dipping challenge i would i would gladly wow. do it. okay i've done it once before i'm prepped i'm prepared i did it unintentionally before i feel like i could go in stronger more willpower this time knowing mm. that i that i could be this champion but isn't it now the, here's the here, here's the, the problem thing. i do have a wife and uh Ooh. that would probably be that would be a deterrent yeah you're gonna have, have, have if to you want to if you really are couch. committed to this you're gonna have to leave her i'm sorry You'd go full no, goblin. No, You'd no, have to go no full night, goblin. No nighttime belly kisses for me, for sure. Oh, jeez. Second you question. Belly kisses. No, oh, the, well, let, you know what? Let's linger on that. <laughs> you don't have your. You, you don't. You don't have your wife give you raspberries whenever you're before bedtime. <laughs> just a little. Just a little. You know. Just a little something. And then you kick your feet. You say. <laughs> in your onesie. You know. It's like we don't uh, even need a wet or wet or dry. About What's your this? Preference He's just then? offering up this information. <laughs> no, it's just letting you know what's happening. <laughs> just to give yeah, me no, a no large man, and she's very small. So if anybody came in, it would look very odd. The proportions are not there. <laughs> so it would just be this tiny woman. Blowing this big fat belly. No one is mm. making you say this. <laughs> <laughs> Lay those little chuckle sandwich uh, exclusive there. So you <laughs> you do the skimmy dipping challenge. Yes. That's the first question. My next question mm. for you is: uh, oh, Would God. you rather? Oh God. Mm. What? Nothing, man. It's just. What's it's, the problem? It's just oh, been a while. I didn't realize we were gonna do this today. I would have. Steeled myself a little. Just keep going. Just Listen, tip, forget tip the about scale. me. Go just don't, just go stop. I'm sorry. Goblin, I wasn't, try I wasn't you? trying to ruin it. Right. I wasn't trying to fuck it up. I always screw it up, man. I'm you always sorry. fuck this up. Keep you it. always keep fuck this up, it. man. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I I want to smack Papa you, me. Charles. But I won't. We know you do. We know you do the skimmy dipping challenge. That's How right. do you accept this challenge? <laughs> Would you rather? <laughs> Have unlimited bacon, but no more <laughs> video. A, is he okay? Is the, he okay? He's just doing his thing. I mean, he's he's. Or no more video games? They said. Yes, unlimited bacon, but no more video games. Oh, or, oh, oh. or, would you rather have games? Right. Unlimited games. Oh. Unlimited games. Expansive. But no games. Oh, oh. <laughs> is the question literally? <laughs> do I need to? Do I need to say it again? Unli it's it's confusing about this. Would it's you, you rather? I'll bacon say it again. No games. I'll, say, it again. Games. I'll say it one more time. No, one more time. time. I really need I you to open you. up those ears no, and listen. I need you to fucking yell. Would you rather no. have yeah. unlimited no. bacon? But no yeah, more please. games. Yeah, or yeah. would you rather yeah. have games? Yeah, Unlimited yeah, games. Yeah, right. But no games. Bacon. No games. I would take I would take the bacon. You take the bacon? Yeah. Why? Wow. You but you, yeah. you fuck games. You have to, fuck games? Fuck games, bro. You can have unlimited of them, though. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather have unlimited oh, bacon. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah, How do you you don't even know fuck. if it's good bacon? Yeah, I'll well, I'll learn to adapt. Is it good bacon? You don't know. <laughs> you know what? I you know what I hope to to even to even make it even worse. I hope it's turkey bacon. <gasps> oh, I, I would take that? unlimited fucking turkey bacon. This close to Thanksgiving games, too. Jeez, wow, it's good stuff. It's good, it's like little bits of plastic. That's oh, why I like Jesus turkey bacon. It's like cooked plastic. Yeah. Oh, wow. God. Well, I mean, there you have it, folks. Oh, I mean, he, he gave his answer. That's Charlie. Come back. Where and you, you stand by that. You stand by that. You standing by that. I'll stand. I'll stand by it all day. I'll make a statue of it and stand by it. Wow, this man. Holy, Charlie, where did that water come? You got some dribble on your <laughs> chest there, buddy. 
It looks like you've been spitting everywhere. Sorry, I've been crying and got, oh, spitting it looks, a little, it looks, it looks more little. like you just oh, like, tears? Sp- okay. just spitting viciously all over your shirt. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a St. Bernard <laughs> went up and got up on your lap. I didn't know what to choose. I started slobbering. <laughs> I just started yeah. slobbering. I, the goblin came out for a second. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't yeah. release the, the goblin, goblin in, in me. Don't release the goblin. The well, goblin in me. Well, inside you, there's a goblin. Well. Um, Jesus! Now that we I am have Goblin you on the Man. podcast, Meat Man, <laughs> let's roll out the red carpet. This camera, this camera, this camera. Don't forget about this, this camera. camera here. Don't forget about this that camera. camera. You're gonna want to look up there. How would you guys get this? Hey, in my eyes house. over here. Eyes Tell over here, please. Eyes, eyes what over here. you got Can you going on? Snuck a few hidden pen cameras up there. <laughs> Do you know the per? Tell what? what? Advertise <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Oh, what do I got going on? Uh, Where can people find you? What are you ahead. working on? Yeah. You know what? Go to my second channel. I'm doing a 40-week weight loss challenge mm. Um, mm. With, my, with my neighbor, Esmeralda. She's a German woman. She will lose. Um, we're doing that. We're, we're going to compare stretch marks later, but it's going to be a 40-week weight loss transformation. And then we're going to be doing uh, documentation on the skin graph. And that's how you can. So feel free to follow that on the Papa Meat channel. Wow. Very good nice. luck on that, man. Yeah, Thank good you. luck. Yeah, that sounds, of course. That's going to be... You. Good for you. I hope all goes well. We believe in meat. We believe in truth. We, we believe should, should just let in... Him I'm a, I feel just like just I'm, I'm offended by this outro. Why? <laughs> I'm hyping <laughs> you up. What the fuck is this? Are you singing or are you... <laughs> I was, if you're going to sing, commit. <laughs> commit to it. it was, I want to hear it was the more singing. It's supposed to be like sort of like Don't, an 80s... No, stop backpedaling. I don't care what it's supposed to be. Show me what it is with your voice. Come on. We believe... In we believe you. in We you. believe in me. We believe, we believe in, in truth. 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 <laughs> That's all I had in my mind. I can't improv any more of that. It's just okay, going to sound dude, atrocious. Come on, man. You got to have a little more lyrics uh, than that. That's all right. <laughs> C- C- how about this? How about this? Come on down to the canyon. Jump on in. Have a band in. Slide on in. There's some meat. Watch your hands. Tuck your feet. Oh, uh, going down the meaty folds to a story that's, that's untold. Not, yeah. How's that? Go. How's that? That um, was good. Uh, bu- 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 uh, uh, so, uh, Schlatt, take it away. Hide your children with all your might, for the meat is coming in the dead of night. Oh, that's good. Thank oh. you so much, Me Canyon. Uh, that's the end. Don't get fussy. Check out Ted's big fat chussy. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's a fun one. All right. I like that. I like that. Bye. Can I stop recording or <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs>